Hey everybody, in this video we're going to do a uh, quick little review here of the uh, Yale 5. Uh, I guess it's a leashing knockoff is the best way to describe it. Got this on AliExpress for 50 bucks. Um, it's for the Yale Y1 Keyway. Uh, I would never buy a leashing knockoff, but Leashy doesn't make a uh, Yale tool, so bought it and give it a shot. Uh, I feel like I kind of wasted my money, to be honest with you. I guess I waste my money so you don't have to waste yours, I guess. So um, that's pretty much the, uh, I guess, what the end of the video should be. So if you want to see <laughs> how bad it is, I guess keep watching. Um, so it doesn't feel super well made. Um, see the welds here. Uh, it just feels kind of cheap. And um, it also says on the uh, lifter, 80% coverage without pin 8 or 9. Now I'm going to put a chart up here. This is the uh, Yale pinning specs from my lab kit. And uh, just uh, as you see on here, anything above a six cut, uh, this thing oversets just by putting the tool in. So like an Alishi tool, you know, if you have a nine cut in a Schlage, the tool sets the nine, but it does not overset the nine. Uh, this uh, will overset a seven, eight, or nine, which, uh, you know, basically you'll stick it in a lock and you're just going to just hope it doesn't have anything longer than a six in it. So anyway, uh, this lock here, I do have this one pinned to three, two, five, four, six. And I will show you, you can actually pick with it. Now I don't have to uh, don't have to pick the number fifth five position here because it's a six and it's just set. And I'll, I'll uh, pull it apart here and we'll show you. Also, nothing ever really seems to bind. Like this pin's actually binding, but it, you see how spongy it is. Um, normal leashy tools aren't usually like that. I gotta click on it. Go back to one here. So now we gotta open on two. There it goes. So I'll show you what's doing there too. Here, if you're not right on, uh, it won't uh, won't pick because it pushes the pin behind it, which leads you to is also don't do. Now, as far as decoding goes, uh, I find it kind of sloppy. Um, this is three two five four six. Is the bidding out of a uh, lab lab kit here. And so uh, that stops on four. Uh, you can push it all the way to two. So uh, it is actually a three. Next one's supposed to be a two. See, it just, you know, with gravity, it just rests on three. I can push it all the way to a one, but it is a two. Okay, five. Um, five, it actually seems like it's pretty spot on on a five. We're at number four here. Four is a four. Yeah, it seems to be doing that okay. The first two, though, it's definitely not real precise on. Let me come over to our number six. Uh, rest right on six. I can still push it past six, but it does rest on six. So you can be doing some uh, half cuts and guessing and maybe standing at the door with a file if you're trying to make a key with this uh, is what I kind of feel like. So let me pull it apart here. Grab the key. All right, what am I going to do here? Number four is a six cut, so I'm going to just dump out the uh, first four positions. And what we'll do here is I'm going to load this with all sixes. All right, so we're pinned to all sixes, and I put the tool in. See, they're all at the shear line right there. So basically, we can put this back in the lock. And the tool will actually operate as it was a key, and it's pinned to all sixes. Now, a, well, a schlag, a quick set, leashy uh, will do this too. If you put all sixes in a quick set or all nines in a schlag, the same thing will happen. The problem with Yale, though, is of course there is the seven, eight, and nine pins. So uh, I probably don't have to explain to a bunch of locksmiths the problem with that. Uh, is basically the uh, pins are all going to be overset, which I'll show you real quick here. I'm just going to take out one of the six pins and I'll put in just a seven pin. And remember, there's still two longer pins than a seven. And if we put the tool in, we immediately notice that uh, we have an overset just from putting the pin in there. So there's an eight or a nine, it's even worse. So if you have a seven, eight or nine, this tool is not gonna work. Okay, you're not gonna be able to pick anything with it. 
All right, so let me set this one down for right now. Now, the other problem I've had with this thing this is my second time filming this video because I have a brand new Ilco brand Y1. Bidding on this one is 32234, which uh, I should be able to pick with it. I spent a good 10 minutes trying to pick it, and I couldn't. And um, I, I pick locks pretty well, especially with leashy tools, and I could not get it to pick. So um, I do have it pulled out here so we can at least try to maybe just you know, decode another one. The tools in there. Remember the bidding from the key here, three two two three four. Grab my little uh, black thing here. Try to get it into focus. Now it's basically it stops on a four, so it's one high. Okay, it's basically, basically each one stops one above where it should so it doesn't decode super accurate either and then one other thing i wanted to just show you here while we're uh while we're at it now i'm trying to pick with this thing let's see if i can do this on camera here you see the pins so i'm going to try to go to position number two Be a little challenging on camera here, but I'm going to go to number two and watch pin one when I'm pushing pin two. I think that might be part of the problem here with uh, having a little bit of trouble picking as we're moving multiple pins when you only really should be moving one pin. All right, and just to contrast that with an actual leashy, um, I do have. A Schlag cylinder here, another follower. And I have an actual Mr. Lee made original Leashy SC1 Leashy. And if we stick this guy in, sure pins are bottomed out here. So if I go to pick number two, zoom out of here. So if I go to pick number two, only number two moves. I can push it all the way out of the lock and nothing else moves. So that's something that the uh, original Leashy tools do. They're only hitting the pin that you're trying to pick, which I can totally see why picking would be way easier with that. And also reading it would be easier as well. So uh, I think I wasted 50 bucks on this. I don't even think it's going to wind up in my toolbox if I'm being perfectly honest with everybody. Um, now I am in the U.S. though, so if you're anywhere else in the world maybe there's a different specs I don't, I don't know but um i don't recommend this tool uh, if mr lee ever puts one out um i think they'll have the same problem i think they have had the same problem actually with it not being able to deal with the uh, eight and the nine cuts is why they don't have one released but uh, anyway i uh, got questions or anything please put them in the comments here i tend to answer just about everything and if the, this helps you you know like subscribe that kind of helps the channel out and uh, i guess until next time well i'll talk to everybody later